everyone hope everything's going well you guys and gals know that drill smash that like button subscribe if you haven't comment down below follow me on instagram at aih underscore sports follow me on my finance channel at aih finance all of you should know by now tops has a bowman chrome buyback program for super fractors one out of one now here's the thing they came up with a huge amount that they would reward buyback value. Now you have to ask the question where some people tipped off. This is what I believe uh, triple crown cards. I believe that's his screen name. He was on, I think with sports card radio last year with the whole Panini crown Royale situation. He DM me about this and i think uh titty subs that's his name on instagram but he also had a story about this and it made me think and i had to you know do some research and see hey look did some people just buy these super fractors just because or were they tipped off or did they think that uh tops would buy it out these are questions that need to be asked and it's going to be hard to figure it out, obviously, but still questions should be asked. And I looked at some of the super fractors that will be bought out. It's not everyone, but take it. You could take a look. Uh, Diaz, for instance, so this was sold for $2,000. And if you look at this, this is 7500 as a buyback, okay? And its claim status is pending, okay? If you look at this, it bought on the 26th for $2,000. We could take a look. Um, Terra Peak uh, sent me here. You can see same picture, okay? This is a dupe. One was bought for $2,000. Very, very interesting. Now, uh, what, what else? That we know. I do believe that there is this guy here. Oh, actually, it's uh, Pinto. That's the name that I was looking for. So Adrian Pinto, that was the other one. The Blue Jays. And let's see how much Pinto would go for. Pinto's $5,000. Okay, Blue Jays, you can see here. Okay. So that's a difference of what? $3,000. Now, what's wild, this is the wildest story, right? This is like hankest, pankest to the extreme. This Rainer Arias, $2,000 according to Terapeak, even though on eBay it says $1,500, whatever it is, right? There's a few, okay. Pittsburgh, or I mean San Francisco, sorry. $25,000. The status is unclaimed. Why is the status unclaimed? Coach Co talked about it in his video here. And uh, you can see on Instagram. But basically, the dude bought the card for $2,000. As I showed you, it was shipped on the 28th. And then there's a, a Super Fractor buyback program. And the guy, the buyer, or not the buyer, the seller requested an interception, which was granted September 30th without the buyer's knowledge. I mean, this is wild. So basically, he is going to take the card, the buyer, and he's going to, not the buyer, the seller is going to take that card and probably go to tops. This is insane. And if you go to this Raynar 
Ilya's card, right? If you look at this guy, this individual is supposedly this was sold what on the 27th. If you go to the timeline of Coach Co., and this seems like the same one of one. And if I go to this over, not this one, it's the wrong one. This card, there's a seller with 100% positive feedback. Okay. And it, he has 120 items sold, and it seems like he's done a good job because of positive feedback, no negative, no neutral, right? So just because someone has a very good reputation, assuming this is the same account, and assuming that the information's correct from Coach Co., you know, this is a this is an issue. This is a huge issue. So there's various parts of this, right? You have to first ask yourself the question, going back to tops. How did they figure out this information quickly with all these cards? How do they know what specific cards were involved with it? Did they just have good auditing records? And three, if there's hanky-panky involved, was this done as a marketing ploy so people could chase some of the cards that are unclaimed. Look at some of the cards that are unclaimed right now. Because we, we don't know the values of these guys. Like, look, this Nets player, 5,000. This uh, Reds, or I mean, this uh, Angels player, 7,500. There's still 57 out there. 3,000, 3,000, 5,000. 5,000, 10,000, 10,000. These are raw cards, by the way, not graded whatsoever. Another 10,000. So are I, we're just asking questions. Is this done on purpose to get people to buy in to breaks? 7,500. Like, look, look at this uh, Texas Ranger. 35,000. Like they're under 10,000. Okay. 15,000 for this um, Diamondbacks player. 5,000, 3,000. Yeah, this. Uh, Arias guy, that's going to be, what, 25000 That's a huge payday. This other one, this is a Cleveland uh, Guardians, 15000 I mean, I, I you could, the list goes on and on. I, I'm just wondering if there's any other higher end cards here. 10000 that are not claimed. Regardless. These are some good values. And ultimately, there's that aspect. And then two, like you have these sellers, assuming that the story is correct. Like this is, in my opinion, immoral behavior. And then the other thing is, were these people that were buying super fractures this week, were they tipped off or did they just want to buy it themselves? That's what I want to know. That would be very interesting. Anyways, I want to hear your thoughts about this. Do you think there's some hankus pankus going on or do you just think that not to the degree that I'm talking about would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks all. Talk to you later. See you. Bye.